And welcome back everyone, Ellington here and we are back on Total War Rome 2. We have got ourselves a 3 versus 3 on the settlement of Tur. And of course, you know I had to do it. We've got Lusitani on the battlefield, so it's an automatic just, I gotta do this replay. Lusitani, if you're new to the channel, is my favorite faction. Got Skitari Cav out here that, so he ran out and kind of came around like this, but unbeknownst to him, there were a bunch of archers in here and he just lost a bunch of men due to it. Excuse me, so, we've got an interesting setup here. We kind of have a slightly scary, slightly worrying situation here on the defense, okay? So what I mean by that is we have got Lusitani being commanded by the Coochie Monster, or the Coochie Muncher? Coochie, Coochie Monster? The Coochie Monster. Um, great pick. But we also have Aravaki on the field. Uh, you know, they're being commanded by Seawolf. And then finally, we've got Bowie Eye being commanded by Roadrunner. The reason I say this is a scary yet slightly worrying situation is because you have three of the best medium melee infantry factions on in the game on the field right here. Lusitani Veteran Shield Warriors are honestly in melee combat better than just about anything else. There's there's a few things that can go toe to toe, but not very much. Um, Aravaki, Scutari are some of the most cost-effective medium, uh, me medium melee infantry in the game. And the Bowie Eye Sword Followers are just ridiculously good. So, it's interesting. But, Lusitani and Aravaki really don't like arrows. Um, which makes them very squishy. Look at that. Iberian Swordsman with 15 armor. Just saying. Scutari have... Slightly better, but I don't think he's even got any Skutari out here. That's all Iberian swords. Very, very squishy. Very easy to get lots of kills on them by shooting them. Bowie Eye is a slightly different uh, story. Obviously, they're a bit beefier. Bit, I'm not going to call them tanky because they really aren't tanky. But they have at least some armor, right? They're, they're pretty, pretty good. Sword followers are honestly just ridiculously good. Anyways, we kind of got back or uh, got off track there. We've got for the attackers Galatia being commanded by Killa Cam. We've got Carthage being commanded by Hunter Killer, and finally Pontus being bullied over here, by being commanded by Frost. He's doing about as well as he possibly can. We've got some Scutari Cav in here that get in the, on the Eastern Archers. He did break the rules. I'm just saying. Three Easter or three Bronze Shield pikemen, excuse me. Um, one of them kind of being beat up by some Iberian swords. He does, you know, they don't even have their pikes out. All three units aren't even using their pikes. So, why? And then Skatari Cav going to come in and get some more Eastern archers. That's a huge deal for the attackers. If the Eastern or if the archers are out of the out of the play, then that means that Lusitani or Aravaki can fully commit their infantry without really too much worry about repercussions there. That's a really big deal to get them involved like that. Eastern archers are just kaput. Carthage sending over some Libyan infantry. Got two units of Libyan infantry, one mercenary Italian swordsman. We do have one breach in the wall. We've got two breaches in the wall. And then we have Celtic warriors trying to go, or uh, no, Celtic warriors killing the unit trying to go up the, the ladder. But honestly, uh, Bowie Eye is just letting them have this area. Honestly, because he has to. Bowie Eye right now is in a 1v2, okay? Uh, kind of like what Pontus is. Pontus is in 1v2 over here. But Bowie Eye cannot defend all of this property. So he just has to give some it up some of it up might be able to get around uh, this guy They're really not getting great shots with the slingers though these guys are getting really good shot but the ones on the wall really aren't like shooting anything super useful 
Okay, okay. Stop, stop the presses, stop the presses. Bronze Shield Pikes have their pikes out. And then they got charged in the back by Scutari Cap. 215 kills on Scutari Cap. They're doing very well. Got a unit running right into the pikes, but he's he's broken, so like he can't stop him. The thing is, the attack or the defenders, honestly, they took some losses here. I mean, look at all these units that are just really, you know, beat up. It's all Iberian swords, but I don't think he, uh, like Lusitani, I don't think he has a bunch of veteran shield warriors, to be honest with you. I think he only has a few. Veteran shield warriors, very, very good unit, but it doesn't seem like he has very many of them. Got some Iberian swords, going to go up against some mercenary Iberian swords. What I don't like between these two units, the Carthaginian mercenary Iberian sword has a targetable pila, like he can he can control where he shoots it. But the oh, this is Qatari. But same thing with the Iberian swords of Ervaki. They can't. They don't have that, and it's really dumb. Pontus is realistically just getting cleaned up. Ervaki sending out a bunch of Qatari basically to just finish it off. Not sure why he charged right into that. He probably could have gone around, you know, um, or pulled the veteran shield warrior in the process, you know, switch him out and then take, you know, the small unit around the back. Pontic sword general is pretty beat up. They've still got some units left inside this forest. Oh man, if I was Bowie, I, I am not looking to have very much fun right now. Just getting in here, taking a looky, a looksy. So Galatia obviously leading off with the Galatian swords, but it does look like over here we are getting a insta drop with uh, Galatian legionaries. So they're bringing the big guns right off the bat. Got some archer fire coming in. Where did that come from? Was that the Celtic bows? Yeah, it looks like it. Shooting right here at the Galatian swords, and they are they are getting some pretty good shots on him. It looks like. Over on the left, they're still just kind of finishing this. Realistically, you really don't want to be getting into much of a fight with Carthage. I think you want to finish Pontus off, and then get back to assist in the defense against the rest of Carthage and Galatia. You know, unless I guess if Carthage continues to commit stuff, then fighting them is honestly probably going to benefit Aravaki and Lusitani more. And Bowie just has to hold against Galatia as much as he possibly can. You know, Bowie is a very good faction. Galatia is a very good faction. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Scutari here, 148 kills, 150 kills with one Chevron. Now they're taking on some living infantry and get shot in the back by Iberian swords. Oh, it's painful. Let's see, they've got 60 armor at least. Yeah, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Sorry, I'm just imitating there grunts and things you didn't hear in the song playing in in the the middle of the fight there i heard it every time the units say hua, hua, right after they say what is it good for absolutely nothing you know is anybody else like me and the only way that song like it's it the only way you like remember that song realistically is from Rush Hour. If you are, leave a comment. I can't be the only person that every, it's the only way, like, oh, that song from Rush Hour, you know. Here we go, we got sword followers taking on Galatian Legionaries. Pretty even fight so far, but it does look like the sword followers getting a little bit of help here from the Celtic bows, which is fine. Celtic Warriors here, a little bit out of position. Oh, 
So I think with the Celtic bows, the... Wow, well, it's still super even. I was going to say, I think the sword followers might win that, but it's such an even fight still. And it looks like we're going to gonna get a commit on the outside. Carthage is bringing it. And the defenders are uh, ready to give it back. The slingers are still focusing. I believe the pikes here. It looks like one of the bronze shield pikes right there. 78 out of 160. He's got 92 kills. I think a lot of that's running away troops, though. Skatari pushing around the flank. They really, man, if they had their Skatari calves still, they might be able to get into some of that. General's bodyguard is taking losses. He's got 33 kills. 64 kills on the giant ballista. Right now, the only combat we really have over here is on this side. We've got a couple of things. Just Levy Freeman dropped on the wall there. Nothing too crazy happening on the forefront, though. Veteran Shield Warriors holding the flank. A lot of the Veteran Shield Warriors have taken damage. 124 out of 160, 153 out of 160. You can see the Iberian Swords just kind of providing a screen for these Slingers to do what they need to do. 171, 102. Pontus deciding he's going to do something about that. The archers just laying into the Balearic Slingers. Balearic Slingers 165. I'm not sure if he's even shooting back at the Slingers or the archers. And Arabaki is full committed. Noble Fighters coming into this fight now. We also have their last remaining Balearic Slinger. Got the Galatian mercenaries here and archers are now into the settlement. 62 kills, 41 kills, and 64 kills. So they're doing very well. Not sure, are they shooting in the archers? Are they shooting infantry? It looks like we're going to have a fallback from Bowie. I, once again, he's got to consolidate. He doesn't have the troops by himself to hold that, I don't think. You got to remember that the, the defenders are operating at a disadvantage in money, right? So typically that means as a whole, one-to-one, -one, you're attacking, you know, the guy on the other side is probably going to have more men than you and maybe better men than you. This makes me a little bit nervous. You know, you got this Skitari that just kind of broke right here. And the Noble Fighter General is just getting wasted in the middle. I think this might have been a bad idea to commit to this. They are looking to get rid of the Bronze Shield Pike. 131 kills on that bad boy. Bronze Shield Pikes, bang for your buck, might be one of the best pikes in the game. You better nuke the gen. Better nuke the gen. Ah, uh, it's too late. The other guy might be able to get some shots in, though. He's at 14 out of 40. He's got to be dead, right? Yeah, he just recently died. This is going to be tough. This is going to be very tough. Lusitani bringing the last of his troop. He just gave the command to bring them back. But I think Aravaki is fully committed out here. And I don't. Th it doesn't look like he has any plans to uh, leave anytime soon. He's still getting some shots in. 196 on the slinger, but it looks like he's out of ammo on that one. 59 kills on the fresh one, 168 and two chevrons on this one. Glacier taking his time. 73 out of 160, but he is healthy, healthy. Bounce power is just about dead even at this point. Which is typically a good sign for the defenders. Oh, and there's that artillery still coming in. Is that Carthage, though? I can't tell. Neither of them say they're firing. See if we see it again. 
Oh, Bowie, I went Axe Warriors? Ew. Sword Followers for the win. He only brought a couple, but I wouldn't have wasted my money on them. I'd bring, be, be bringing as many Sword Followers as I possibly can. And they're giving up the whole outside. It's that time. I am curious, are they going to hold here or are they going to fall all the way back to the central area? It seems that one of the artillery still has ammo. We haven't seen it fire in a sec. I don't think this guy does. And they might be out of ammo now. Maybe that was like their last shot or something. Noble Horse Cavalry here for Galatia. The uh, Iberian Ballista here was able to get 94 kills. That's pretty solid. It looks like he has ammo. I'm not sure he knows it. Which is unfortunate. He could get a really good shot on that guy. Or could have. Look at this poor guy. Oh, man. What a day. You watch this slaughter out here unfold, and then from behind just get javied by like 15 javelins. It's a rough day, guys. Now the question will for the attackers will also be, are they going to pursue the mountain? Or are we just looking at a one, two, three punch? Carthage bringing his you know, battered army back in. From what we can see, we only have a couple troops. Uh, Iberian sword and a mercenary noble fighter. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a tiny, tiny noble fighter. 222 kills, though. Oh, no, the Blerics are stuck outside. Oh, no. This guy still has ammo, and he's still firing. I think he might be trying to get rid of these uh, noble fighters. Noble fighters, by the way, are very, very good. I don't know why we have our Iberian singers, slingers here. Are they out of ammo? Maybe they are. I I think when your archers or slingers are out of ammo, I go throw them in the back of the the settlement to help with uh, army losses. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with Galatia. They are really not doing much of anything. You know, they could just be waiting for Carthage to get there, but realistically, Carthage doesn't really have that much left, so I'm not sure that it's really worth, like, waiting for them. Noble Horse, I think he's going to go try and finish off the Balearic Slinger over here. Turn around! It's shattered. 83 kills. But it's too late. You might get one volley. Maybe. They kind of got a volley. No Horse, 95 kills now, but look at it. Balearic's not going to last very long. 124 on the Noble Horse, and there they go. Bowie I actually has stuff all the way up here, and I'm not sure I fully agree with this. He's got two units of sword followers that are going to come down off the hill, and they're going to go face these Galatian Legionaries, which 2v1, obviously, they'll probably win. But now the Galatian Legionary is going to come in as well, or a second unit of them. Are we going to get a wraparound, or is this a counterattack? I, I would not be, I don't think I'd be going out at all. Got units that can come in from here. But it seems to me like they want to take the attack to the attackers. One of these units, we probably want to try and sneak around. Well, you got to be careful also because of this guy, so maybe you don't sneak around. I think Galatia's using uh, formation attack, by the way. Sword followers pull off the attack. 126 out of 160. Okay, you just pulled off the attack, so now get out of there. Now they're going to re-engage. 
Noble Horse, Jen getting a good charge. Veteran Shield Warriors are very light units, so they don't like cavalry. Cavalry hits them, and they just kind of, even if it doesn't kill them, it tends to knock them down super easy, which is, you know, kind of its own detriment as well. Look at this, green be yellow. Two very good units. Although this is a Galatian Sword, it's still a very good unit. Really good uh, low tier. Veteran Shield Warriors, 186 kills, 234. Better be careful of those Iberian Slingers. Uh, this poor Veteran Shield Warrior is just getting, you know, cycled back and forth. Got these veteran shields that kind of took the place of the sword followers. Kind of holding back these Glacian Legionaries. The sword followers 141, 112. The front end, really nothing super entertaining happening on the main hill. Syrian archers are going to start shooting at some Balearic Slingers, but the Balearic Slingers really can't do anything about it. Syrians, 80 kills, 46 kills, 76 kills. We also still have some Cretans here. We got 117, 131. Just looking around here, taking a gander. The Noble Horse, 241 kills now. He's done very well. A lot of it's been these, you know, range units. It's a lot of the slingers. It's these really lightweight veteran shield warriors that are now getting into the archers. 101 kills. If I'm the defenders, I I think you just got to give it up. You just got to walk away. You're you're very very outnumbered at this point, and I just I don't know. I just don't know that you've got a lot. You know, you don't have enough to defend all of this space. But what you can defend is this area, which is the area you need to defend. I'm just saying. I think Bowie I is very stretched out, um, and his units are realistically not in the places they need to be in. Looks like he is pulling back those units to the mountain. Hopefully he pulls them all the way back. Celtic warriors can't get back in the city at the moment, so what do you do? You walk over here and, you know, get ready to get on the tower sometime in the future. You might even be able to get in there without them really kind of noticing you and maybe get into these archers. I think that the Cretans for the most part, and the Blairics might be close to out of ammo. Blairics look like they still have ammo. They have, do they have two Blairics and two Cretans? Cause I'm pretty sure the Cretans over here are pretty much out. Nope, they still have ammo. Yep, both of them. Noble Horse now has 272 kills, probably from finishing off that veteran shield warrior. I don't know, I don't think it's a good idea to advance down this hill. You're losing a lot of the advantage that you gain from them having to walk up a massive hill to you. Here we go, we got Spear Warriors versus Sword Followers, or I mean, Spear Warriors and Sword Followers versus Galatian Legionaries. Oh, and did Bowie I bring the Warrior Gen? Heck yeah. See that? He brought the, it's the Intimidate, so it'll, uh, right? That's the one that, no, so this is the one that doesn't allow them to use uh, abilities, but it's a Glacian Sword. They can't use abilities. They have no abilities to use. You you want to use that on, like, an Osworn or a General or, you know, stuff like that. 
the other one, um, I think, is it Intimidate, maybe? No, this is Intimidate. Uh, Warcry, I think, might be the other one. And that's the one that does a, like, a morale effect. It hurt, you know, it hits the morale of the enemy. So if you have an enemy, so like this guy, to that little yellow diamond, that means that he's kind of shaky, right? So if you use a war cry on him, it makes him even worse. Then let's say you're playing like Swaby and you have wolf warriors or, uh, oh God, what are they? My brain just went blank. Um, oh, night, oh shit. God, I forgot what, but basically any fear, you, fear troop, you know, there's a lot of fear units, especially for like Swaby. With the Warrior Gen, they're actually kind of fun to use. Fire arrows are also something that hurts morale. Look at the Galatian Legion here already yellow. I don't know how he could be yellow with 134 men left. Uh, Bowie Eye seems interested in coming off the hill again. Might just be due to the archers that are standing there all by themselves. Blair Slinger shifting around. I think he's going to try and maybe get on this wall. Fire! On the front end, they kind of got drawn out of that defensive position by Galatia here. Not sure if it's on purpose or not, but they it happened. Celtic Slingers, double Chevron, 31 kills. I feel like that's probably a, a Chevron that was given to him. Or Chevrons that were given, not earned. Cretan Archers, two Chevrons, 146. That, I believe, is legitimate. I would stop pursuing. That you they got away, just just go back. You know what I mean? It's really just not worth it. Yeah, and see now they have ammo and they're gonna shoot you as you run away. It's just a waste. I don't I don't know why we're playing this game. I just really wouldn't use it. I just don't think it's worth it. Bring the troops back to home where they need to be used. This is the danger spot. You know, oh well. Sword followers, 89 kills. See, this is getting a little dicey right here. They really don't have a lot to defend that. They do have some stuff defending the mountain. Once again, it's it's probably not worth it at this point. You know, the main point is here, so this is where you need to defend. You have this, 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 and this. These are your spots. Sword followers getting shot up here by the Syrian archers. 190 kills. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. Oh, looks like uh, Bowie Eye has, um, still has ammo. He's shooting over at the Balearics here. 216 kills on the Balearics. Pretty good. Two Chevrons. More units, or is that just the archers here? Do they still have ammo? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they're out of ammo. But Galatia is almost fully committed at this point. He's putting a pu big push along this mountain right here. This is looking better and better for the defenders, and all of a sudden things are swinging their way. Look at that bounce power just move. They really just don't have any infantry to attack this area anymore. Osworn should be able to hold that by himself, to be honest with you. 
Celtic Slinger, Slingers, 36 kills. Pull back into your spot, then those, those Slingers basically can't touch you. You know, you've got a big push here, but that's it. Everything's basically right here. Carthage has a couple of units over here, and I'm not sure why Carthage doesn't seem to really be doing much with their their stuff over here. So I'm not sure. Bowie I bring in more troops back. He is leaving these veteran spears over here. He's not done with them. Not done with them yet. He could probably bring this guy back too if he really wanted to. They're gonna have to stop this, but that's the main thing. The Lusitani Noble getting in is gonna be a pretty big effect here. Spear Warriors, Osworn, and here's some of the units that are still kind of coming in. Fight men, fight to the last man. But I think that this is going to end up being a defensive GG. It's just kind of mopping up units, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if we see army losses here soon. Is the, uh, the Glacian General still alive, so that would help a little bit. But he's, what, 54 out of 80, 272. He's coming up the hill now. So if they kill him, that probably is going to wrap it up. They still have, oh, it's a slinger. I was like, they still have ammo. General trying to sneak around. Good jabby toss there by the Lusitani Noble. 46 out of 80. Lusitani Nobles have 86 kills at the moment. Oh, look at it, let's go. 101 now. Oh wait, no, 101 is the Osworn. It switched on me. No jabby toss on the horse, but they do get one on the Glacian Legionaries. Charging down on the, the noble wars here. Shield wall by the short sword followers, but they're a very small unit. I think this noble horse is done. And that's probably gonna be it for Galatia as well, which means that's probably gonna be it for the game. The mercenary noble fighters did go in on the other side. 121 kills taken on sword followers. Sword followers, they just gotta wait. Because it's pretty much GG, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the battle of the day. Or will conclude. A bit surprised, yeah. So there's the Galatian general, he's dead. So where's our army losses? There it is, right there, wavering. See everything just starting to break. And that is GG. Let's look at some kills real quick. All right, starting off for the defenders, we have the Kuchi Monster being commanded, or commanding Lusitani, uh, leading the game with 2,655 kills. Uh, very, very well done. 
pretty much across the board, his infantry did very, very well, especially the veteran shield warriors. Um, you know, his cav actually 219, pretty good. 122 is good. Slingers did good. I mean, just, yeah, pretty much all around. Good, good, good. Roadrunner, commanding Bowie Eye, 1724. Um... I mean, he did as best as he could against a pretty tough opponent in Galatia, you know, um, but did as best as he could, really. Sea Wolf 51, commanding uh, Aravaki with 1942. Most of his slingers did pretty good. One of his noble fighters, two chevrons, 197, and his guitar, he did pretty solid. For the attackers, we have Pontus, who unfortunately just got double teamed at the very beginning. Uh, it's got frost with 1,854 kills, not too bad all in all, 131, 92 on the, on the bronze shield pikes hunter killer as Carthage with 2,127 did pretty good across the board. Honestly, you know, all of his range did very well. His, excuse me, his infantry did pretty good. Noble fighters did very good. Kill a cam as Galatia with 2,252 kills. I believe that's number two in the game. 308 on the Noble Horse. His archers did very good. Um, a lot of his Galatian Legionaries actually did not perform super well. Um, that's that's disappointing, all of that right there, unfortunately. But that is going to be it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget that if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys next time.